What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So at the end of my live stream today, somebody asked me to give them a breakdown of how Terra Classic can get to a penny, how we can physically get there, um, not only at the supply that we have now, but also if we have some sort of uh, supply that obviously gets diminished or uh, decreased a little bit. And, um, you know, we get to a point to where we can actually be at a reasonable market cap and not just something that's at one of the highest market caps that are out there being basically in the top 10, probably the top three. So before we get started in this, make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos like this one, and make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. If you guys want to follow me on Twitter at Perry AK, you can follow me over there. Also, if you want to join the uh, lunatic, lunatic Discord group, there's one down below. And there's also the Terror Rebels that you can join, um, which are a big part of, of uh, increasing this position and increasing the uh, utility as well as the burn rate um, within this. So anyways, let's go ahead and take some time to dive into this. So Terra Classic, currently it's up 10% today. It's up to... Uh, 0 0.00001272. We saw it recently re-establish um, itself and lose that zero. It had a fourth zero and it lost that zero, which is really good to see it get back to, you know, um, a state to where we've known where it was at for quite some time and where a lot of people feel comfortable that we're going to start to make some positive moves from here on out, getting to that $1 billion market cap. Now, today we're at $833 billion or million dollar market cap. That would be amazing if it was billion, million dollar market cap. You can see that the volume today is 409,000 or 409 million um, in the last 24 hours. It's down 45% from where it was. We did see it at 1 billion and we've seen it at like 1.7, 1 1.5 to 1.7 billion um, in a matter of 24 hours. And that was the day prior. But now we're sitting at um, 400 and 9 million, which is still a decent amount of volume that comes through here. We are seeing that the circulating supply is around that 6.5 trillion and the total supply is around 7 trillion. So those two numbers are very important. If we look over the last seven days, we are actually, you know, pretty up compared to where we were the last seven days at 0 0.00005 or 0 0.00006. Uh, but we saw it up in this high of 16 with three zeros. Um, and if we look at one month ago, you know, we've seen this uh, really fall down from some of these levels from lower than some of these levels. And people thought, hey, you know what, it's over. While I'm thinking this is consolidation, we see this lowest point here of uh, 0 .00045 or so. Right. Um, so now we're in sort of a comfortable state. Obviously, we want to see it grow more, but I keep getting questions as to when we're going to see a penny and how we're going to see a penny. So let's go ahead and get into my Excel spreadsheet. Remember, those numbers are really, really important looking at uh, Terra, Terra um, Classic, because if we go over here and we go to the spreadsheet, this is what we need to focus on at a $6.5 trillion or $6.5 trillion uh, supply um, in order to get to certain levels like a penny. Um, it's going to take basically $65 billion market cap in order to get to a penny, which is not absurd, right? Some people believe that, you know, Shiba Inu getting to a penny is easily possible, um, but getting to a penny for Shiba Inu, I think is possible. It just has to take a lot of burning, but even without burning for Terra Luna Classic to get to a penny, you just need a lot of um, adoption. So mass adoption could get it to this level, but obviously people want it to go to a dollar. So a penny is one thing. A dollar is a whole nother place of where we can get to because obviously uh, four zeros and three zeros, um, two zeros, one zero means a lot. It makes a difference, especially when you're investing a hundred dollars and then you add a zero, that's a thousand. You add a zero, that's 10,000. You add a zero, that's a hundred thousand. So obviously it makes a big difference in what you're holding there. So getting to a penny is not impossible um, when you have this $6.5 trillion or 6.5 trillion supply. That means that it has to be a $65 billion market cap, which is high. Again, that makes it uh, have to be right now in the top three when it comes to cryptocurrencies. Um, you know, actually somewhere around the top three or top four. And then when you see a bull run, you're probably going to be in the top 10 um, at least. So 
$65 billion is difficult to get to because you need a strong use case, a lot of belief, a lot of holders, which you do have a lot of holders, but you need all those other things as well. So if we're trying to find a way to get to a penny, it has to come via the burn. So let me go ahead and go to the Terra exit plan um, uh, tab. And I have a whole breakdown here. And this breakdown basically just tells you how long it's gonna take by the, by the number of days and gives you the burn. So if you aren't aware of the 1.2% burn tax, that's supposed to be implemented um, throughout exchanges, um, off exchange, on exchange, everywhere that transactions are done, basically you invest $100 into the position and uh, $1.20 gets burned out of that $100. So you end up taking home uh, $0.98 cents or $98 worth of Lunic and um, $1.20 gets burned off um, and that happens for everybody. So 1.2% of every transaction, whether it's buying and selling, you end up getting that burned off there. So it's a good deal. It's something that could improve the value of uh, Lunic and something that could um, decrease the supply, which essentially increases the ceiling of where this can get to. So if you look at this, we're looking at $350 million in volume. Let's just say that that is the standard number. We understand that we've seen a billion, we've seen 1.7 billion, we could see two or three or 10 billion, right? Um, and seeing that much money obviously would equate to more being burned. But let's just settle on something that's standard. Let's say it's gonna be 300 million um, for every single day that we go through. Now, there's, two variables, like I just talked about, the volume could be anything, and also the price could also be uh, massive. Right now, the price is sitting at about 0.00012. Uh, uh, I have it at four or five here, just being uh, aggressive to say that it could take a little bit more time. But if we scroll down here, basically saying that out of $350 million worth of volume, uh, 4.2 million is gonna go towards the tax, which would mean that 28.9 billion will be burned off per day. So with that being said, it would take a total of 238 days for this to play out in this scenario, if everything stays the same. Understand those two things are really big variables that change often. So 350 million, it's not gonna be 350 million uh, the whole entire time. The price, it's not gonna be that price for the whole time. Because as people see the path and where it can get to and how it can get there, um, well, now you start uh, realizing that this definitely has a strong ability to grow. So instead of you seeing it at 0 0.00001145, right? Seeing it at that level, you're probably gonna see the price at a, at a higher price point. So somewhere, let's say in the 30 day mark, right? Let's say 30 days, we end up passing that and people see the vision. So they're like, all right, well, this burns another, another zero, right? So burn another zero and now we're at point zero 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 one. So let's go ahead for another 30 days, right? Uh, let's do it like that. <clears throat> so now instead of you burning 28.9 million, you're now burning uh, 4.2, or sorry, 28.9 billion, you're now burning 4.2 billion instead of, you know, obviously looking at the 4.2 million, you're burning off 4.2 billion for a number of days, which is not, a crazy amount. It's something where if you look at for 30 days, you're burning off. Um, oh, come on. Let's let's bring this down. Excel always works best, I guess. Um, but basically, you're burning off 130 billion out of those days. Now that's not enough, right? Because you need to basically burn off, let's say if you're trying to do it in a matter of a year, you need to burn off a little bit more. But understand if that price increases, most likely the volume increases as well. So it's not only just um, where you you have this volume, and I, I wanna do this math really quick, just doing it uh, this uh, multiplied by 1.2%, uh, and then, oh, I put 12%. No, I put 1.2%. 1, 1 Come on, man. Stay with me, stay with me. All right, 1.2%, you have that uh, listed there. So I'm gonna bring this all the way down here until we change over, right? right. And let's just say right when we change over, uh, actually, let's just bring this all the way down. 
sorry we're going through all of this on on stream here or on the on the video so this might be a long video just to break this down so say if you're seeing this price increase you see the volume increase so that volume people see that to to gain another zero right there that's going to be a massive market cap that's basically like a 10 billion dollar market cap at that point right that's that's a lot or it might even be a little bit less but it's still a lot so um let's say that would probably be like a six point six point five uh, billion dollar market cap but let's say that we're adding on another uh we're adding it to a billion that's what the the price is going to be or the uh volume is going to be a billion that means that you're going to look at 12 million that can actually be burned off right 12 million dollars at that price would be 12 billion coins so let's do that for 30 days right this right here for 30 days well uh let's actually bring that down i don't know why it's not okay i gotta bring this down too so for that 30 days let's bring this here down and that's going to be a total of uh 372 billion so as the as the price increases, also the volume will increase. So even though you have those factors, we have to try and factor that into. So it can take anywhere from, uh, let's say as low as probably a hundred plus days to a full year, maybe even two years, depending how the volume is. But understand that if the price increases, the volume increases. So um, if the volume increases, most likely the price is increasing. So it's something that really uh, factors into it. However, the price is more of a negative factor on how much you can burn, and the volume is a positive factor on how much you can burn. So if we see a ton of volume that's going through in selling and buying, if it's equal and we haven't seen anything move in the price, well, that could be a good thing because then we don't see a crazy amount that's moving in the price, but we're burning off a hell of a lot, right? If we see 10 billion that's going through and it's 50-50 split buying and selling, well, now we're looking at the same price with burning 1.2% of that 10 billion total token. So um, ultimately what we're looking at for these two um, or these two scenarios is right now we can have the 6.5 trillion total, but if we're looking for it to get to a penny, we obviously need to burn off uh, this supply to be somewhere around uh, the 10 billion, uh, 10 billion mark. All right. So if I let me just copy and paste special real quick. Uh, so if I literally look at the 10 billion mark, because this is uh, 6.5, 6.5 trillion. And let me go ahead and take away one zero. So 10 billion, you're looking at a hundred uh, million dollar market cap. I mean, that's not bad at all. And then what you can see is it easily get to a dollar. And if it does get to a dollar, that's a $10 billion market cap, which I think is a good spot for Terra Luna. So in my opinion, it's definitely easy to get there. It's just going to take a little bit. And this whole 1.2% proposal and CZ coming back and saying that he supports it <clears throat> and everything that could be implemented with it, this could be huge. This could be the opportunity that people are looking for short term um, that ends up making people a ton of money while others sit on the sideline and don't believe in it until they see what's happening, right? <clears throat> Those same people that are saying this will never happen, uh, it will never get to one penny, it will never get to a dollar, are the same people that are probably gonna jump in after they see the 1.2% is implemented and it's taking shape and you see the supply burning off. Those people are gonna jump in and they're gonna say, oh, well, I believed in this the whole time. We know who you are. So um, I'm not saying that I wouldn't welcome you to be into the position, um, because everybody should be able to profit off of it. It's just, we should try not to say that things could never happen because anything can happen. Anyways, guys, that's how we get to a penny. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out some of those links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you want to follow me on Twitter at Perry AK, I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you in the next one.